All right, so we got Jerome here uh, over at Gold's Gym. He's going to show us the proper progression for a hip hinge. So remember, whenever we're lifting something off of the ground, we want to actually be flexing at the hips, powering through the hips. We don't want to be bending that lumbar spine. So he's going to teach us the proper progression and how to actually um, do a hip hinge. All right, um, so the first and easiest way to do it is uh, starting out with a bridge. So getting it into position for the bridge. Uh, I like to go a uh, greater than 90 degree angle bend in the knees to really isolate the glutes and the hips so that the movement is just coming from the hips. Um, the knees aren't moving a whole lot and you can really focus on just getting the hip hinge, keeping the core nice and tight so you're not getting any of that lumbar flexion. Good. So as you notice, as he goes through that, everything's coming through the hips, he's keeping the spine nice and straight. 